Racing, iconic, beautiful split, the best racing split on the planet. We have F5 today for you guys, round 4 of season 12 of ERO Racing. Today we have 5 special guests before the race starts. We have the top 5 from the standings, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Jack Bailey. Hello. ERO Zolf. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Stevie. Welcome, Stevie. Hey, thanks, man. Hello. H Hello, Rings Red. And the man, the myth, the legend, TSM Oliveboy. Okay, guys. So, we got round four. Obviously, Darius, you're the one leading the championship. First question is going to be for you. How do you feel? Yeah. Can you still be the leading guy in the split after this race? I hope so, because this is a strong track for me, so I'm hoping for a good result today. So when, what, where is your aim in qualifying? Of course, th this weekend, yeah, it's a special event, sort of. We have full qualifying, 35% race. How can you manage through these three qualifying sessions? You've just got to manage the tires over the, f over the three sessions. That's the main thing here. Being Simple as that. Yeah. Championship leader for you. Next up, TSM Oliboy in P2. You are only one point behind the Ferrari driver. Do you think you can be the one leading after round four, going into round five? Okay, of course, we have some strong competition for you. Uh, maybe more of a question for the Constructors' Championship. You are six points behind Ferrari. What you and your teammate can bring to the table to lead into round five? Okay, thank you very much, Oliver. Now, next up is Stevie from Mercedes. Stevie, it seems like you're kind of on your own in this championship battle. You're P3 in the championship currently. Your teammate is not pulling up the numbers you'd probably expect from him down in P9. Uh, how was the relationship in the Mercedes team? Yeah, it's really good. I've known Joe for a long time now. I think this is like four or five seasons of teammates. So awesome. I think he just had a bit of bad luck in a few races. But he has always been quick here, so... I think you could see something today. Yeah, last race, finish on the podium. What can you do to finish on the top step of the podium this time? You haven't won this. Uh, you haven't won a race this season. Do you have that that thing that you need to this time be the guy who's going to be celebrating on the top step of the podium? Yeah, I think I just need to keep it clean, stay away from incidents, and I think I should be able to make a podium. Awesome. Uh, Jack and William, why don't Sparrow gonna take you through the questions before the race? Sparrow, I give it to you. He's not here. He's not here. <laughs> awesome, awesome, let's go. I'm sticking to myself, let's go. Wow, I was so like, oh, this is so professional. I'm doing so good. I'm doing such a good job. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a smooth transition to my co host. No. Okay, I'm on my own. The man, the myth, the legend, one and only, beautiful, handsome, lovely, again, I said it twice, screw it, Jack Bailey. You're the second Ferrari driver this season, for now at least. You're being complete in, completely in Darius's shadow. What can you do to be the leading car in your team? <laughs> you told me dirty that. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? Before me, peasants. <laughs> yeah, I know, well, we could have a I repeat, mean, a repeat fair, of Singapore. Your, your teammate is leading the championship, so you got to step up your game. Yeah, well, you know, I help him out. Um, I do do my bit for him, and, and yeah, hopefully we can get him another championship. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, Ringsworth, you're, you're, you're the one concluding the top five in our split so far, if for now. Uh, you're sort of the second half driver. You've won a race this season, but then you had these, this unfortunate DNF in round two. Uh, you're missing quite a bit of points to the top guys. Uh, could you do something special this race to pull yourself up from these mediocre, let's call them, last two races? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Love, love the optimism here. Awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay, you've kind of thrown me off there. Um, so, are you kind of settling in in the this as a second driver in your team? Like, are you? Do what's your strategy like? Do you try to help uh, Oliver, or are you just completely on your own, doing your own race? Awesome. Okay, so since uh, Sparrow isn't here, as I, because I embarrassed myself, now I know that. So I'm trying to invite him in, but I can't find him. Yeah, I know. He just died, I guess. Oh, there he is. Oh shoot! All right. Um, okay, boys. Thank you very much for this interview. Hope I'll see at least some of you after the race on the top t on the podium, not top t but t on the podium. Uh, best of luck to you. Uh, good luck, be careful in this qualifying session, maybe save some tires for the race. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Yeah. Cheers uh, mate, have a good, good uh, luck, have a good stream. Cheers. Good luck guys. Yeah. Have one. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, I agree with everything that you all said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good cool. luck guys. Boy. Bye. Okay, so... This is I not my party. Wait, uh, weren't you supposed to... Oh, no, no, that's yes. uh, Jack who was supposed to join uh, no. Q3, if he gets there. Wait, why am I here? Yeah, that's my question. Why, why are you here, mate? <laughs> you're not the captain now. You're not the I captain. Am... No, you're not. I need help. Leave. Get out of here. <laughs> yes, goodbye. See ya. Oh gosh, okay. Oh Jesus Christ. I just Christ. completely okay. embarrassed myself when I went, okay Sparrow, I'll throw it down to you, take us through these last two guys, and then was just complete silence. So, yeah, I, thank I, you I very much just, for that. I'm sorry mate, I, my <laughs> internet went down. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start qualifying. Full qualifying this time around, it's a special event for us. Uh, only a 35% race. Qualifying could be interesting, especially if we're gonna see some intermediate conditions or maybe uh, soft, uh, slick to dry, to wet, lol, uh, wet to dry, whatever. Uh, basically chaos. Basically chaos. Uh, but it's gonna be really interesting oh. to see. Sorry to interrupt you, but I'm just gonna finish my sentence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be interesting what the drivers are gonna decide to do with their tires. Of course, they can't really push all the time. They have limited amount of compounds. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting how many sets do they decide to leave for, for the race, for Q3 maybe. It's gonna be interesting, what do you think about that? I think it's gonna be quite interesting. If we see scenes like we did in F3 last season where it was completely wet on slicks, then we could see some interesting excursions. Absolutely. As we are dry! Yes, we are dry. It's sunshine down the pit lane. Beautiful weather out there. Only yep. 16 guys in though, so I think it's well, it's just going to be one driver eliminated in Q1. Yes, that is correct. Okay, well that's going to be a lucky one. I'm hoping that person isn't Nick Hill. <laughs> no, if the gold cannot be eliminated. He cannot be eliminated in Q1 as the only guy. <laughs> That, that would be so, so depressing if yeah, it, that if really, that happens. Really sad. That'd be really sad. I agree. Uh, okay, this time I'm gonna hide the spectator menu as I was uh, brutally pointed out to me. Uh, still hurts, still hurts, but here we go. Yeah. Everybody's still in the pits. Nobody's really rushing out to leave the garage. No, no one is moving whatsoever. Yes. Um, and it has been a full minute. Congrats, guys. Yeah. Really a lot of patience shown here today. Which is interesting. The, oh, we've got a Ferrari going out. A Ferrari! Is the one and only... Intermediate! Intermediate tires. Okay, so he just wants to test out the, his internet, I guess. Um, following <laughs> ahead just of him, like actually. <laughs> yeah, we already know your internet's crap, mate. Um, I know it is. Yeah, 
So actually, uh, the first driver uh, is gonna finish the lap is gonna be Rings Red, uh, the fast driver. And second, the, the third person else on track, sorry, is Zol. Also in this. Also on the inters, which is very interesting. Joe Hamster on the mediums. Joe Hamster really... Well, the pace is there for him, but the consistency. Although, yep. to be fair, he was taken out, like, well, twice. Really unfortunate yeah. for him. Uh, a few times. He's really... He knows he's got the pace, he just doesn't have the consistency to score points on a mm, regular basis. Like okay, don't get ahead of yourself, mate. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> 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 oh gosh, okay. Just like so, my consistency in R2 player. Oh jeez. It's a good thing nobody's recording that one. Yeah, true. Okay, so... Rings with approaching last two corners on the track. Why don't you take, a, take us for a lap with the house driver? Yes, I will indeed. As we go around the final corner, starting his lap takes a very tight line. As we know... Go across the line with Rings Road as he goes diving down into turn one. Heavy on the brakes, gets a nice apex, I think, I'm not sure. As he opens the DRS wide and into turn two, gets a clean apex and flings it into the right hander and ending sector one. With a 27-6, through the quick left-hander, round one of the m more difficult corners, into the chicane. Takes a clean line, gets touched a bit of a curb on the outside, hits the apex through this section, into the fast left and fast right, needs to take it well, which he does. The 55-0. Going into the final few corners now. Good line through that corner, into the first of the hay hairpins. Round the penultimate corner. And round the final corner. Takes it cleanly. And across the line, sets a 17-1. Very Good luck solid love there for Rings Road. We'll see how much lap times are going to improve. Uh, next up. Jack Bailey and Zolf on Inters, of course. It's going to be TSM Olive Boy. No, it's going to be Vilnev. It's, it is Vilnev next across the line. Mercedes driving Nick Hill. Nick Hill. Retired. No. As Vilnev goes three times slower. And Oli Boy smashes Olly boy. his teammates. Time. Puts up a five tenth difference between both house drivers. But Nick Hill is already going to be out. So basically, no one has to set a lap now. Well. Maybe someone has to settle up, at least those in the bottom four. But other than that, I think it's basically set and done. Uh, Nick Hill's gonna be the one retiring and out of this qualifying session, starting last. That's that kind of sad. The final corner, across the line, 69. Also not bad. Stevie rounded the penultimate corner. Round the final corner. And That's here is line. wide open, where it's safe, and it's gonna be P3, 17-1, just a bit faster than Ringsrud, uh, who's already in the pits. Uh, Schwistak now, the Alpine driver, finishing his sector 2. We'll see what's gonna be the time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be on mediums, apparently. The game shows he's on mediums, but... Yes, he is on mediums. Uh, the screen shows that he's on soft, which is rather interesting, but... We're going to finish the Sector 3 with the Alpine driver, last corner, ahead of him. It's going to be turn 14 for Spistak. Goes around the final corner, finishes the lap with a time of 18.5, of course. It's the slowest one of slick compound tires. Slick, slick compound, slick tires. Uh, Sokol starts his lap. Why don't we go to the lap with Sokol. Sokol turn one, heartbreaking point. Uh, medium tires for the Alpine, rather loose on exit, but he keeps going. It's turn two for him, uh, down to third gear, full throttle this right fast right, uh, right hander. Uh, up to seventh. Now this is a really tricky corner. This way you gain or lose time. Oh, and he went very very wide on exit. 
Red Bull is very close behind him. Uh, are they going so to the Black impede Wolf. themselves? Yeah, it is Black Wolf. Black, Wolf's Black Wolf on mediums as well, so no tire advantage here for neither of these drivers. Uh, now this very technical S section uh, for the both drivers really. Alpine and Red Bull finishes sector 2 with a time of 56.7. Oh, the Red Bull is so close behind. Very I almost close. thought he's gonna dive down the inside of the Alpine, and he really doesn't have to. Uh, they just have to finish the lap, but the, but Black Wolf will be clearly ahead of the Suko as they go across the final corner. It's almost like a race in yeah, qualifying yeah. here, and they're finishing the, the lap 6th and 7th for the drivers. And yeah, who's gonna? I think Joe Hamster is now on the lap. Joe Hamster just started its lap. Yes, as, he's going uh, very slowly though. Yes, you're 100% right. Gevi just finished his lap on Intus. 134.2. Oh, that's an insane that's, lap. That's an absolute stonk of a lap. Uh, Freeze is on his lap. Uh, on Intus. Uh, oh, yes, you are right. Uh, yeah, this Q1 session will not really be very representative in terms of ta lap times. So, yeah. While people are just driving around setting a lap, setting, setting some laps on the board, why don't we talk about real F1 for a moment? Oh, so this what be could be your predictions for qualifying this night? Um, well, as someone who pays a fair bit of attention to the practice sessions, I think, I'm not quite sure. Um, we, di we did see Lando Norris top practice one, which was quite surprising, I thought. And then Charles Leclerc in that P2, in, in P1 in practice two. Bloody hell, I'm struggling. <laughs> and we've just started the stream, which is great news. Um, if I was to have a punt, I would probably have to say it's difficult not to say Verstappen on pole, but I'm going to say Leclerc on pole, just to be rogue. I think um, if there's a track in this beginning part of the of calendar of uh, the season, Australia could be the one where Verstappen might struggle to get pole position, uh, yep. and also. The pace difference, uh, the gap between Verstappen and the Ferraris in practice 2, was bigger than I expected, if I have to be honest with you. Yes, so, yes, Verstappen is a, is a safe option. It's a no-brainer, basically. You, you cannot not pick Verstappen for qualifying. Yes, that is very true. But if there's going to be a surprise, it's going to be one of the Ferraris. I don't, as much as... I like what I'm seeing from McLaren, and especially London Norris, and especially in that practice one. I don't think they really have the possibility to be even fighting for the front row. The Lo Norris could sneak onto the second row. I could see that happening. Yeah. But you have very quick Ferraris. Leclerc, who seems to really be enjoying this track. We've seen him taking his first ever Grand Slam, I believe, uh, two years ago. He's really familiar with the track. He, he enjoys it. Uh, so he's going to be a strong contender. We could see five for Paul going down to the wire, but ultimately I would still have to go for Verstappen. Yep. Uh, if I, I would just like to, yes. sorry to interrupt, but yes. the 218 day viewing streak is currently setting the timing sheets alight with two purple sectors going round the final corner now and across the line DRS wide open 18-3 two tenths ahead of his teammate went one and a half, one and a half tenths ahead of his teammate very solid lap there from the Red Bull driver uh, yes. we'll see how much that how much is that gonna uh, well uh, be <laughs> on softs in Q2 and Q3 hopefully for him uh, but yeah coming back to the real life qualifying if I had to go for my top 5 I would probably I would go for Verstappen on pole but not the gap wouldn't be as big as we saw in the last two races I think yep, the Ferrari yep. is much closer uh, yep, than last week last week was just insane from the Red Bull uh, and especially Verstappen 
and I'm going, yep. I'm, I'm going for Verstappen on pole, and close behind them, I am going for Leclerc. Then P3 is a bit tricky because Sainz seems to have the pace, but he's, well, still very. Uh, how do you say this? <laughs> My English dictionary just threw out the window. Uh, he <laughs> well, he had his operation not long time ago, so he still might be not rusty, but uh, he, he's still recovering from exactly, a... exactly. So it's tricky because the Ferrari seems to have the pace. Science also showed some promise in the P2, and it's really, I would say it's going to be really close between Science and Perez. Ultimately, I'm going for Science and P3. Perez in P4, and I could see Norris getting P5 as Eastfoot goes P6 in his McLaren on softs. Uh, but yeah, Norris could sneak a cheeky little top 5 after this qualifying. I really hope Mercedes could show some improvements over this qualifying session. Maybe in P3 something magical would happen. Yep. As much as I want this to happen, I don't see this happening. This car yeah. needs some upgrades, and it needs some upgrades immediately. And I'm just not very optimistical. Yeah. So yeah, we have Suko, Suko on track. Just looks like oh, he's actually improving after two sectors. Uh, I thought he was doing some race prep laps. Uh, maybe he is. Probably is. Uh, four and a half minutes left with his qualifying session. He goes. He stays P10, improved by three and a half tenths. Uh, interesting. Five lap old mediums, he still find a way to improve. Very nice. But oh, that was very loosey goosey on the rear. Now and he, he immediately retires, which is fair enough. Uh, yeah, Joe has. Jeffy on the lap. Yes, he is. William Shriver. This time on slicks. Switch that retires as well. Yep, Alpines are done for this qualifying session. So uh, is Alfa Romeo. <laughs> yes, so is Alfa Romeo. Uh, we are, the only reason why I say that is there is only one Alfa Romeo driver in Nick Hill. Yeah, that's fine. Where is Harry? Where is Harry? Alfa Romeo name. Where is Harry? <laughs> um, Harry's in Leicestershire. Yeah, I saw that in the message about like, what, what is he doing in Leicestershire? Um, he's competing for the county in green ground bowling, I think. Ooh, nice. So yes, he is away doing that. He might be able to watch our race tomorrow, depends. Awesome. As Chevy goes P11 with a 20.9. We see Jack Bailey on his outlet. And Darius. Both on the soft compound. I would probably, if I was them too, I probably would save us a uh, soft. Yeah, there's no need for them to, um, unless. But I don't see this happening. But there could be like a glitch or something that the bottom five cars are out, which would yep. be interesting very, to say the least. Yes, it would be very disappointing. Yes, for the people uh, like Suko and Swister. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, imagine. And also, like, imagine if like Joe Hamster retires now and he's like gonna be out. That would be very disappointing for him. Uh, yes, that would be very disappointing for the Aston driver. Yes. But now, why don't we go full lap with the one and only Jack Bailey? As he starts his lap, go. he's gonna go up to eighth gear. He is going up to eighth gear. Turn one, tightest braking zone on the lap. Uh, down into third gear, about 100 km per hour is the apex speed. Up to seventh gear, turn two for him now. A long left hand that seems like it's not ending. Into a very fast flat out turn three, up the hill towards one of the fastest corners on the track. Turn four, it's really tricky when you have to stay within the white lines, and the Ferrari is between the white lines and is not, it has not invalidated his lap. Very tricky now, technical. Basically, I hate this chicane, to be honest. Turn yeah, 6, sure. 7. It's really difficult to drive around this track, uh, around this chicane. And it's one of my favorite parts of this track, is this long technical section. Ending sector 2, a bit laggy on the exit of my screen, but it's a purple second sector, at least on my screen. And it's That's a beautiful 
breaking opportunity for me at least into turn 12. Now penult penultimate corner of the slab, turn 13 going into last long right hand of turn 14. It's gonna be down to fourth gear, about 150 kilometers per hour apex speed. DRS wide open across the line. It's only P6 for Ferrari, for the Ferrari. And now another Ferrari is finishing sector two, going through turn. What is it? 11. I had to t check in the track map, and it, he again has the fastest purple. It has the purple second sector. Second turn 13 for Darius at the moment. Keeps it nice and clean. Ooh, bit loose on exits as I say this. Uh, down to fourth gear exiting turn 14. DRS wide open for the Ferrari and this time it's Ooh, much better. B3. It's B3. But still nowhere near TSM Oli Boy. Yes. TSM Oli Boy could potentially get pole this race as he is five tenths ahead of Apple Juice in only Q1. And Absolute to put this into context, stonker. me with no traction control, which I've been practicing, <laughs> is only slightly ahead of apple juice. Wow. We These drivers have some pace. As I did a 16969. Very memorable lap for me. <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Um. As that is Q1 over and done with, as we wait for the Ferrari boys to get back to La Pit Lane. What's interesting is that the fastest lap in qualifying session ever on this track was uh, set by Lewis Hamilton in 2020. It was a time of 1 minute 13.4. Usually, last week, our drivers, I think, or the week before, uh, our drivers were actually faster than the uh, record yep. lap time on the track we are racing at. This time, for now, we are th three seconds off. Interesting. And am I the only one who's seeing clouds over the racetrack? Are we going to have wet Q2 and Q3? I saw that as well. And I saw that on Jack Bailey's lap going into... Yeah turn four and I was, was like hmm it was getting very dark wow. interesting yes Good maybe to see. <laughs> maybe they should have saved one set of inters yeah maybe yeah okay turns out, as soon as we get into Q2 there's a wet compound of tire oh gosh <laughs> that's just Full prediction that's Full not words. actually gonna happen as the under Q1 we have Oli Boy topping those timing sheets by a huge margin, followed by Apple Juice, Zolf, Stevie, Ringsrud, Villeneuve, Jack Bailey, Isfod. I'm not going to say the entire thing. <laughs> Black <laughs> Wolf rounding out the top ten, and then Swistak, Suckle, Jevy, Freeze, Joe Hamster, and the only person to be knocked out, Nick Hill. We did have some incidents, uh, mainly from Swistak who exceeded track limit twice, and <laughs> Darius who sped in the pit lane uh, twice. Yes, I, I, uh, twice. <laughs> twice. I saw. Yes. I, I saw one at the very end. <laughs> well, like, Darius mm, was a Darius very naughty there, boy, but I guess he's gonna get penalty, go penalty free. Uh, good thing there was no incidents. It would have been an absolute shambles if somebody would actually crash into one another. As we're gonna be underway with Q2 in just a moment. The clouds are definitely there. It could potentially be raining towards the end of this session. Uh, I think it could be raining in Q3. It's very possible. It is very possible. I'm still thinking how to say pronounce the other Red Bull driver name uh, which part of his nickname should I say should I call him maybe Shriek or is like Mew and here comes no, Mewing down the no, inside no definitely, definitely not Shriek I'll tell you that okay because in Britain yeah it could mean something completely different awesome <laughs> awesome okay I didn't know that so that's cool I, I will send you a message of what okay. it means okay. I'm gonna have a live reaction. Awesome. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. 
<laughs> I'm doing like a proper definition of this as well. Oh shoot. How do I word this? <laughs> <laughs> With words, probably. Yeah, that was probably a good idea, yeah, if I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah. Um. Yep, I'm still waiting, mate. I'm still waiting. I, I know, I'm, I'm yeah. typing now, mate. Yes, Riggs <laughs> is gonna be the first car to finish a... to start and finish, hopefully, a lap in Q2. This is... This is what I have heard, anyway. Okay, still waiting. As uh, Rings will go through the final, uh, the final two corners on this track. Um, yep, the hash driver will be the first one to start a qualifying lap in this session. Uh, that's what I think it means. One. Okay, let's see what you send. Uh... Oh! Oh! You want to see? You s you see now? Yes, I do. I I I, I in fact do see. Um, okay, I'm just gonna skip over that because we have a rapid hash on the. Just call him 218. There you go. I'm just gonna call him the. The. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As Ringsur, of course, says the fastest lap, the fastest first sector, uh, so far, uh, going. Through turn five into turn six seven, she can have to be very careful. Uh, down to second gear, very brave for the Hush Rabbit to be honest. Well, he keeps it clean and he keeps it nice and steady. Uh, going through the sector two, uh, technical S, let's say section, finishing the second sector with turn eleven. It's a fifty five point three. That's not the fastest second sector we've seen so far. Uh, turn twelve and now turn thirteen. For rings red, and we're gonna have both hash drivers finishing uh, lap the laps for us on the, as the start of Q2. Across line goes rings red. It's 17.3. That's not the best of laps we've seen. And right behind Nothing him, his teammate, the yeah, boy. boy. Now that's a lap. That's a very slow lap. Still not faster than his yeah. uh, previous lap. But maybe track conditions have changed. Maybe the uh, you know. Temperature dropped or something as Vilnet goes P3, Swistak P4. Uh, now, we're gonna have. Johan saying people through. Is what you know? finishing the lap? Is what goes. No, is what started his lap. Sorry. Uh, Stevie, Stevie goes P2. Jack Bailey Stevie. retires. Apples. Jack. Jack. What the heck happened, Jack? Oh, Jack. he spun and hit the wall! Oh no, Jack! Come back! Jack, come back! Alright, Jack, do you want to join us in the comments, Ruth? If so, I'll send you an invite over. Oh, good guy. And it's most likely that he could be knocked out. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> Darius is on the lap going into turn 6. Uh, ahead of him is the McLaren. Oh, Jack, uh, that is very brave, aggressive approach into this turn 6, 7, chicane going through turn 10 right now. Is the Ferrari. It's a well, rather big lift through turn 11. Purple second sector for the Ferrari going into turn 12. So far, so good for Yarrow Zolf. Just two corners to go down. Oh, he missed that apex. By a mile going into turn 14 now. It's gonna be a solid lap for Zolf, I think. It's gonna be. Oh, never mind, that's P7. Joe in P5 with a purple third sector. Je Gavi still. Gavi, Jevi still in the pits. Uh, Suko, I think, is either starting or finishing his up. Uh, if he's finishing his lap, it's not a good lap. I'll tell you that. It seems like he's still pushing, so... Why don't you go full lap with Sukol, mate? Oh, Sukol? Yeah, let's go. Now, as you go around turn one... Going into turn two, now there is a Williams on an outlap in front of him. As we round turn two into turn three... Going across the line for... Sector 1, 3 tenths up on his time as the Williams gets out of the way very nicely. Round the long 
left hander of right hander of turn five, sorry, through turn six and seven takes it very well. Going into turn eight, nine. Going into turn eleven now. I think turn twelve could be completely wrong. I have no clue. Go round as, as he's seven tenths up nearly. Going round the penultimate corner. Show Hamster goes up to P5. I've just noticed that. Round the final corner. Suckle. Where could he put his Alpine P11? As Jevy starts his lap now. Now I'll let you go okay. on. So, oh, it's raining! It has started we to have rain. rain! We have rain in oh, Q2! Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, driver Suko, the is for Jack and Jevy are in massive trouble. Well, especially Jack, he's out of the session. Yeah, Jack is. <laughs> Mate, Jack's not even here. Jack's gone. Yeah, not even his spirit left. <laughs> State, I mean, as Jevy, Jevy, I still don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry, mate. The Williams. Yeah, the, the Williams, yeah, he's gonna have to clarify if, if it's Jevy or, or Gevy. I bet you we were supposed to pronounce the second part of his name, actually. Uh, but uh, I, I don't want to try and yeah, pronounce me too. that. Like, no freaking way. I, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> as, Same here, mate. Yeah, as Gevy finishes uh, up. I take Spanish, but I can't yeah. be bothered taking uh, saying that. I'm Jesus not even Christ. taking Spanish. So, yeah, no, no, uh, <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, no, uh. no, uh. okay. As the Williams finishes his lap, it's not gonna be a good one, good one though. At least as a second of the pace uh, across the line, still the air is open. It's gonna be, no, ooh, it's the slowest, slowest by a second and a half. And as the Red Bull starts his lap, this is, might not is, be a good one. As is the it rain. The, I think it's the it? Red Bull. <laughs> the is, the Red Bull driver is, is, is on a lap now. Is the Red Bull of the? This <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. down nearly two cents. The Williams might need to get out of the way so he doesn't get in the way of the Red Bull of the. I think it still doesn't Oh, really he goes mean. fairly... He goes... He dips two wheels into the grass as the Williams finally gets out the way as there's a bit of a slide to the Red slide Bull. Slide to the left. Of the... Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. <laughs> we could get copyrighted for that, mate. You're singing to okay, the Okay, my, my singing is not that good, okay? <laughs> it's not <laughs> that good. As this FOD starts as laugh as... The red oh the Red Bull of there is pulling into the pits. Yeah. I think it's over. Nobody's gonna improve, no chance. I mean it's no raining one's going raining. To Could we see an F three Belgium moment where it's just a single person else on track, aka me? <laughs> I, I that was oh, amazing. Is but, but put us out of our misery, please. This retire mate. Just, just ret everyone just retire in the yeah, pits because yeah, no yeah. one's going to improve oh. as he goes wide and Almost somehow doesn't validate. Jesus, uh, he def he's definitely slowing down. So yeah, he's slowing down definitely. So it looks like TSM Olympic Boy is gonna have gonna be leading both qualifying sessions so far. It looks like this Sokol new is going out on track. <laughs> The madman, oh my gosh, did you see that slide over the pits? That I was kind of did, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> he was like freaking, I wanna if you know, how they live really <laughs> in Tokyo. But in We're Hungary. in Tokyo for this one, lads. Welcome. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of Tokyo Drip, what was your favorite part of. Uh, movie from the Fast and Furious franchise? I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched any. Any? Not even one? No, no. What? As rings <laughs> retires. But like, I'm sorry, but this is more important than the qualifying itself. <laughs> How? 
How have you gone throughout your life so far and have not seen at least one? No, it's been a fairly short life that I've lived so far. You had you had some time. You've had some time. I I have had some time, but oh, that's another time. When, when I was your age, when I was your age, oh, I've geez. already seen every every movie from the Fast and Furious franchise that came out by by then. Yeah, you that are cultural illiterate. I know, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. So. It, well, anyway. okay, I'm just gonna say, unpopular opinion, but Tokyo Drift is, oh, 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 it's so good, so good, mm, mm, so good, I've no clue anyway. what I would say. Yeah, um, you can just say Tokyo Drift with me, it's gonna be fine, people are gonna hate you, but it's whatever. I'll just say five, I don't know. Ooh, actually that's a good answer, uh, Fast Five, Fast Five is technically a Objectively speaking, considered the oh, best. Oh, so um, Yeah, jeez. <laughs> but look how much rain there is. There was a fair bit of rain, yeah. I'll be honest. But the, the track that. seems. Oh, yay! Yes. We've well, got yawn. a boy. Yawn. Okay, mate. What's going on? Why are you seven tenths of, pe of the pace? What's going on? You're supposed to be leading the way. Uh, I was on a old set of socks that I used in Q1. Oh, I guess that's oh. fair. Um, I yeah. have disconnected for the second time. <laughs> awesome. At least you're still you in the party have. with us. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's alright. Not enough players. Jesus. Yep, yeah, I've left the session. Wahey! Oh, hey! I'll try and put you back in. Okay, cool. Right, so, there he is. After these, mm -hmm. well, we can say we already our past Q2. After these two qualifying sessions, can you be in the fighter for pole? Well, I have the tires for it now. It does. I don't think it really matters anymore anyway because uh, it's going to be wet. It's so going to be wet race. It's well, it's going to be wet uh, Q3. Oh, Q3. Cool. Okay. Nice. It's going to be a wet. It's going to be a wet Q3, and then I'm not really sure for the race. It, it said it's going to rain and spell to the race. Cool. The radar was okay. us, so. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens. But um, I like the wet. I'm not bad on it. Jack is Jack is a wet weather specialist as well. Yeah, clearly uh, being I'm out in Q2. <laughs> well, oh, poor Jack. He lost the car in the exit yeah, turn yeah, one. Yeah, we've seen. Yeah, it. I, yeah. I saw it up from your POV exiting Q the corner. I just saw Jack's girl in the uh, wall, looking depressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He wasn't happy afterwards. Yeah, poor, poor Jack. Jack. He was supposed to be live commentating his poll up. Where is he now? Well, Where, where's that poll might, up? Yeah, where is that poll up? If you ask him nicely, he might join you for Q3. Um. Oh hell no! He had he had one job. He was supposed to be in Q3. He failed. Okay, he I failed. <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to Jack now, boys. Yeah, um, cool. Good luck, mate. Good, Good luck in Q3. Be careful. Prepare for, yeah, prepare for this chaos of Q3. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. All the best, it will indeed. See ya, mate. Good luck out there. For See Darius. you, mate. Yeah, Rosolf, Darius. I wish him legend. the best of luck. Absolute legend. Although, if I have to be honest with you, TSM Molly Boy is probably our favorite for today, for pole position. Uh, well, hmm. Apple juice, uh, apple juice and Stevie are only a tenth behind them, so you can't rule them out. Oh, of course. However, I don't want to forget about his lap in Q1. And here we go. That's the end of Q2. Q2. I'm going to take a little break. Be back in a sec. Okay, I'll take over. As I was saying, Oli Boy did a 1 minute 16.48 in Q1. This lap he's done right now is not rep representative. As we finish Q qualifying two with TSM Only Boy on top, then it's Apple Juice, Stevie, Reese, and Joe Hamster on it up the top five. And it's P6, Ringsroot, P7, Black Wolf, P8, Darius, P9, Vilnev, P10, Fistak, but his teammates Sukol and P11 being eliminated from qualifying two. Uh, in P12, we have the Red Bull. P13 is fun, it's a shame he seems to have. 
seems to have a bit of pace today. And P4 team Jack Bailey, absolute choke for him. Ferrari will not be happy with his performance. And then Gavi, Chevy, whatever you want to call him. And uh, that one in P15, slower than the guy who finished as a DNF with no lap. Well, basically, I guess Jack had a lap, but he is marked as DNF. So not the best of performances for the Williams. Yep. As now, we go into qualifying three, which probably oh. will be wet, as we have the one and only master choker, Jack Bailey. May <laughs> take us through your incident in Q2. Incident. Well, my, my first... Well, my lap was terrible. Uh, yes, so agreed. I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep pushing. Um, and uh, I'll go around again, and then I've been in the first uh, first wall. Oh my god, it's raining. It is absolutely pouring down. Intermediate so conditions. Hot. Could we see wet for the end of this qualifying? It's a question for you, Jack, because you've seen the weather prediction. Uh, I thought it said dry, to be honest, but... Um, well, it doesn't seem mm. dry to me, to be honest. No, it was very sort of unsure. It was like it kept changing through the session, which is quite interesting. Yeah. I've not really seen that before. Um, and the same for the race as well. It's it's a little bit changeable, I think. So. Yeah, as rings are at exit split lane. Again, the Haskars will be the ones who started up first. Behind them, we have a Aston Martin of Joe Hamster. Uh, but it's going to be rings with who's going to cross the line first. And... Uh, Will the conditions get worse throughout this qualifying session? Um, As Little Me Dragon joins! Yes! We used to pray for times like this! Yes, I, I forgot to press spectate, so I could have been racing, but I then I, as soon as I saw my name on the list, I was like, no, quick, close application. Yep, probably <laughs> that's a good decision. I've done that before. I had to start from the. Oh, well, I ended up starting from the back in Monza and commentating the first turn from the back of the race. It's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should actually funny. do that. That would be so, sick. Yeah, someone, be someone reported me for retiring on track. <laughs> I hear the report the commentator. That's a bit hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. Oh. They did. <laughs> I think I think that's the fair. You were clearly in the championship fight. I, I got away with it. I got away with it. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's good. That's good. Some leniency. Okay. As Rings is going to start a l first lap in qualifying three. Intermediate conditions goes around turn 14. Is the harsh driver. It's going to be very tricky on the throttle for him. Uh, but keeps his car uh, very well steady. Going towards turn one. Very tight, hard braking zone. Down to second gear. Okay, that's very brave for Rings Red. But he keeps it clean. Keeps it within the white lines. Up to 7th gear, going into turn 2. A long, long left hander that seems to go on forever. It's going to be still flat. No, it's going to be slight lift for turn 3. And it finishes sector 2 with a time of 29.7. Of course, for now it's purple. We're going to see how much lap times are going to improve. And if they're going to improve. Now, the turn 6, 7 chicane for the house driver. It's clean so far for him, keeps it nice and steady, very difficult, almost S-section like part of the track to finish sector 2. In wet conditions it's especially difficult to keep the car within the, within the white lines, the understeer is really kicking in, but Ringswood is doing a nice job so far, uh, that time of 1 minute. Point zero zero seven, I think. Uh, so an Alpine yeah. stopped on track. It's yeah. Swiss Stack who's Ooh. spun it. Spend? No, he just spun it as Rings are going to finish his lap. Front wing damage. Ooh, unfortunately for the Alpine, but Rings goes around the final corner. No DRS in this qualifying session, and it's going to be a time of 1 minute 25. And Oli Boy, right behind him, is already fourth, oh. is at six tenths of a second between two harsh drivers. Clearly, TSM. And the DRS other is an is Could we okay. see scenes like we did an F3 last season? Right now I am insanely confused as the Aston Martin of Joe Hampson goes P3 with a, with a lap time of 1 minute 25.488. Next across the line is going to be Apple Juice. Apple Juice also had a, a lot of pace uh, in previous race and goes P2. Five tenths between Olive Boy and, him and Apple Juice. Uh, next Game across the line, Villeneuve. Villeneuve across the line goes P5. Exactly the exact same, same lap time. As oh my. Hamster. That's <laughs> incredible. Next up is Stevie. 
completing the Mercedes duo. Turn 14 for him now. Very slowly adding the throttle. DRS open for the Mercedes driver, and it's going to be a lap time of slower, actually. Four tenths slower than his teammate. That's interesting. P4. Like, very nice lap there for the Red Bull. And uh, As Darius starts his lap. Here we go. Yeah, why don't you take us through this lap, mate? I don't know what he's doing here, and he's pit for softs. He's pit for softs? Wait. No, he should be in the pits for softs. It's not raining anymore. Oh jeez, well, I thought light. I left the session, I got kicked out of the session, but I think I'm still in. So it's went, so it's went there. Uh, yeah, purple, first sector for your teammate, Jack. Yeah, like, as, a well. as a teammate, like you obviously want to finish ahead of your teammate, but when you're in the situation you've put yourself in. Do you really oh, root? Oh, sorry, on my screen, I yeah, thought it was in the I wall. Saw that, a bit I, saw that. I thought the I exact the same, same thing. <laughs> yeah, as Apple Whoa. Juice goes three tenths quicker of, J of TSM Olive Boy. Coming everyone back to breathe, you. Everyone yeah. breathe, everyone breathe. Coming uh. back to you, Jack. When you're in a situation you've put yourself through, uh, are you rooting for your teammate to score the most points for the team, or are you still having that competitive side of yourself? Sort of saying, nah. oh, I wish I would finish ahead of him. No, no, he's always quicker than me anyway, so, um, especially around Hungary, so yeah, kept pole. Um, yeah, we were, we were good, me and Darius, as a team. Um, yeah, it looks so, very good so far, leading the constructor champions, but Darius, what a oh, lab for the Ferrari. It's going to get dry though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's about to be dry. dry. Now. Everyone should yeah. be going on to the soft compound. Yeah, last man across the line wins this, 100%. Exactly. Yep, we could Hamster see Monza push. 2019 all over again. Oh, Joe Hamster pits, so yeah. Stevie, Stevie retired. Stevie retires. Oh, well, he's not on the same as me, has he? he? I think he has. Oh, what a muppet. Uh, let, let's go on board with Ollie Boy, just to see. Yeah, yeah. He has. He's doing he the exact has. same thing as me. Oh. oh absolutely oh. dreadful. Another choke job here. Yeah. Stevie, oh, come join us in the comments group. <laughs> Everybody, join us, join us, come on. Come Everybody on, who has choked so far, come and join us. Oh, that's why we were here from the beginning, huh? Uh, you, you've got to be good to yeah. choke. I don't think uh, I was ever good enough, to be honest, so. No. No, it's hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry for some action. <laughs> Let's get it. I've got, a, I've got a tactic for the race, guys, right? Yeah, give, so, give us to us. Um, so it's going to rain. Every, everyone's going to box sprinters. This is my this is my idea. It's going to start dry. Yeah. Everyone box yeah. the sprinters. Yeah. Um, I stay out on the dry tyres um, and and keep it on track and win. Wow, unbelievable! How did you come up with that? Uh, just you know something I thought of. Go well, on P13. You got to try something different, right? I guess. I guess going bold. All, yeah, all I'll, I'll, get, I'll give it a try. If it pays off for you, then I. Then it will be amazing. It will, it will. I'll be pleased. Yes, as TSM Oli Boy is going to be the first car to finish a lap on slick tyres in qualifying three. Why don't you g take us for laps, Faro, with Hash Driver? Cool. Okay, so round opening the DRS as the Hash of Rings Road goes quite slowly and sets off the yellow flag. Round turn two now. What can the house driver do? He's probably going to set the fastest lap, but will he get pole because of the track evolution? As sets a 28-0 in sector one, round turn five now into the chicane, which can be quite difficult for people. As we exit that, takes it quite well, dips a bit of the tire onto the grass, round the S section. Can he potentially pull off a good lap? As Ringsrud is letting him through, maybe. Well, that was very late movement by Ringsrud. I think that was the worst attempt at a toe I've ever seen. <laughs> it, I think it was, yes. It's As he goes hungry. around the final corner, round the final corner, and across the line to set a 18-0. As it's this is where the toe comes into play. Yeah, they've messed this up massively. Yeah, no, this is horrendous. Not the best um, strat for these two. 
Why do you need jump? a tow round hungry? What the hell? Anyway, yeah, sorry. Fair enough, but yeah, it's only basically like one straight where you could actually somewhat benefit. Mm -hmm. And you, like, in race, you're not even reaching 8th gear, to be honest. Nah. If you're not using a DRS or ERS, you're not reaching 8th gear, you stay in 7th. As Ringsworth sets the purple first sector, going quicker, obviously the track evolution is benefiting him, not his teammate. But I think it has uh, drivers left a little bit too early. I think they're going to be at a huge disadvantage towards the end of the session. As uh, Ringsworth is about to finish sector 2, going through turn 10. And now turn 11, slight lift. Lap time of 25-0. That's a very solid second sector for Ringsworth. Purple sector 2, of course, for him. Turn 13 for the hash driver. What's gonna be? Keeps it within the white lines. Down into fourth gear. Quite aggressive on the throttle. The RS wide open for the rings for Ringsworth. And it's gonna be a lap time 17.1. That's nine tenths between these hash drivers. Oh, Wally Boy is going to be in big trouble because that lap wasn't great. Joe Hamster, uh, next car on the lap, I think, or is it Spistak? No, Spistak just started this lap. No, it's Reese. It's Reese, it's Reese. It's Reese rounding. Oh, he goes well over the curve. Oh, just about keeps it out of the wall. As Wally Boy retires from the session. That could be a major mistake for Vries. Has he kept going with that? Has he not yes, he has kept going. Uh, yeah, but he should uh, reach out his ERS and go for another yes, lap. He is He's recharging his ERS. He, he is, won't yeah. be able to start another lap, though. Yeah, so let's go that with... That is it. On lap of no, Joe Hamster. Oh, Joe Hamster is also not on a lap currently. He's recharging his ERS as Vries... Oh yeah, he was the third fastest, of course. Uh, Apple Juice starting his lap. Uh, Joe Hamster about to start his lap. Vilnev is also starting his lap. Svistak is about to finish his lap. Purple Sector 2, 54.8 in the middle split. That's the fastest we've seen so far. Going through turn 13 is the Alpine. What's it going to be when he crosses the line? Keeps within the white lines. Last corner, turn 13, 14. What's it going to be? Keeps nice apex. The other's wide open. Across the line he goes. And it's going to be 17.0. <laughs> Oh. Just a tenth quicker than Haas boys. Next up is Apple Juice. 24.6 the middle split for him. Two corners to go for the McLaren. What's it gonna be? Can he be the man on pole? Or can somebody overthrow him? One corner left for the McLaren driver. Again with the DRS down to fourth gear as well. The DRS wide open. Across the line he goes. And it's 16.4 as he's the first driver to finish his qualifying session. Next up, Joe Hamster. Joe Hamster going to no, that's gonna be Vries. I'm so sorry. Vries, Vries, line P3, P3. 17 um, Villeneuve across Vilnev. the line now. He oh, too. Villeneuve, beauty. Darius has got this in the back. Da Darius, last comes corner Darius. for the Ferrari. What's it gonna be for this beautiful, young, handsome man across the line? It's yes! P1, 16.1! So comes the next across the line, it's only P7! ERO, Black Wolf, Black gonna Wolf finish his race! Rings road goes P2. Rings P2! Black Wolf P7! And Swissdag is the last car on track, but he's pitting! And we have a grid for the race, ladies and gentlemen! It's gonna be the Ferrari starting in the front of the field! Oh boy, Jack, I bet you're ecstatic right now. Absolutely brilliant news. I'm gonna go back because uh, I've got a race to lose. Sure thing, mate. Good luck. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Send your regards to Darius, but what will a do, lap for do. the Ferrari driver. Absolutely amazing. Rings were, though, only two tenths behind him. Well, two and a half, though. But yeah, very close. Uh, Apple Juice in P3. Huge disappointment for Oli Boy. He was really quick. He was he topped P, uh, Q1. He topped Q2, and then only P9. He didn't play the strategic game. He left it too early there. Yes, he definitely did. As uh, that is the end of qualifying, with Darius on pole position with a great lap. Yes, so the grid for the race is set. We have ER, ERO, Zach Wolf, <laughs> Zach Wolf, jeez. Zach Wolf. Zach Wolf, yes. Uh, Zolf in a Ferrari with a time of 
1 minute 16.117 Two and a half tenths behind him is Ringsuit in Haas in P2 Then second row is consisting of a McLaren and a Mercedes is Apple Juice and Villeneuve P5 is Fistak, the lonely Alpine in this qualifying session 6 is the Aston Martin of Reese 7th Eero Black Wolf 8th is Joe Hamster, very poor qualifying for him uh, ninth, the biggest disappointment of Q3 is TSM Oli Boy and Stevie down in P10 who didn't really get to set a lap on slicks. The only reason why he didn't set a lap on slicks because he did a Jack Bailey. Absolute choke job. Absolutely. <laughs> he bailed out. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are about to start the Hungarian Grand Prix. The grid is mixed up, the drivers are all over the place. We have just finished the first full qualifying session uh, of this season. It was rather interesting, maybe it wasn't really that emotional, but it was interesting. We have a dry start to this race, and who do you think can win this race, mate? I think it could be a very interesting race, but it could come down to anyone. Uh, I'm not sure. But, it's going to be fun either way. It's only 35% because of the full qualifying. And, it only, will be only very interesting. Laps of racing. We could see some carnage. Safety car loves to come out uh, on track during this race. So, it could be a wild one. It could be an interesting one. You want to stay with us for this race. Because a lot can happen, and even if we have a favorite, he doesn't necessarily have to win. As we have a grid set, we're gonna have four, five red lights ahead of the drivers. And for the round four, it's lights out, and away we go. That's a good reaction time for Zolf. Rings with right behind him, but Villeneuve with a perfect start already attacking the half. Two into turn one, it's gonna be three wide for P2. Villeneuve on the inside, oh, this is very close between them as Rings with maintains his place off P2. Then Villeneuve and Apple just fighting. Apple just all mediums into turn two. Apple just gets ahead of the Mercedes. Man, my AI is popping off as there's a spin by the Williams. Oh, Jeffy. Unfortunate. Uh, TSM Oliver gaining five places already up to P3 oh. going through turn four. Very good start for the house driver. Ringswood is about a half of a second behind the leader. As TSM Oliver is about to dive down the inside. No, he's not. He backed out. But he's also. Oh, he's attacking. He's attacking Apple Juice. Oh. Into two, oh, there's contact between them and Apple Juice is spawned round by TSM Oli Boy. That's gonna be a huge incident. Could there be a safety car? I don't That's know if Apple Juice. Report. That's, That's definitely going to be a report. report. It was very close between these two, as Ringswood is already putting the pressure on Zolf. Jack Bailey, by the way, gaining four spots on the opening lap. He can maybe Ringswood make it five on Stevie, but he backs out of that. So I would just like to point out, my AI is somehow <laughs> in 14. We, we, we are going to have to rule out my AI from this race. Yes. Uh, decent start well, for Joe Hamster as well. Apple juice into the pits because of the incident as Breeze gets fast Swiss stack into turn one. Apple juice gets a five second for speeding in the pits. Oh no. And I think there's a three wide moment between my AI, Nick Hill, and Jevy. I could be wrong. Was Rings it. is really close to the back of Darius. Just two turns separating the leading cars, already putting the gap on Oli Boy, who's two seconds behind uh, his teammate in P2. Is Rings really gonna overtake the Yellow Zolf even maybe before the end of the lap? Because he seems to have a lot of paces. The, uh, the Haas, as I think they have the same compound tires. Yes, they do. It's both uh, for both drivers. It's a soft compound tire, but the rings are already using a lot of his ERS. So with a slight advantage in this case, Oli Boy is closing the gap, close by half of a second during this lap, and they go round the final corner. Ringswood is using his ERS, putting the fastest lap of the race is Oli Boy. And we're not gonna see attack into turn one for the lead, not this time, as I think the and Isvot are really close. Could the attack 
into turn one. No, he can as we have fight with Stevie and Spistak into turn one. Stevie maintaining his place. But oh, Spistak is gonna be very close behind him. Round the outside goes the Alpine, and Mercedes throws it down the inside, switches back his Spistak, going into turn three. And Spistak has to give up, but he's gonna attack into turn four, up the hill, round the outside, no, down the inside. And could Jack Bailey get ahead of him? No, he cannot. Very dangerous spot to overtake there. So everybody backs out, and it was really close between these three. And nobody sends it into the chicane. Boy, oh boy, if somebody would have went down the inside there, that could have ended very, very poorly. As now, Ringswood is gonna throw it down the inside. No, he won't. That's very safe driving, but he uses a lot of his ERS. It's already lap 3, and he has only 20% of his ERS. That, and that fighting with him for the lead allowed TSM Oliboy to catch up to the leading pack. And ERS is gonna be wide open for the Haas driver. Could ERS lose his lead? Looks like he will because TSM Oliboy is right behind him. Oh, he tries to go around the outside oh, wings. Really I don't know why, but he tries to make it stick. Has to back out. Not the smartest of moves there. As Ringswood is gonna back out of the move again. He's yeah, trying to be aggressive, but not in the right places. I think. Still using his DRS yep. up the hill. Boy oh boy, what is going on here? Total chaos mate, that's what's going on. Um, does we go into the chicane now? There is... Oh! oh, oh, oh Wings goes God. wide over the curb! He beached on the curb and now exits in P3 right ahead of Villeneuve. And TSM Oiboy is now the car putting the pressure on the leader here. Finishing Sector 2. Right behind him is TSM Oliboy, who had a terrible qualifying session, up to P2 in just four laps of racing. Absolute insanity here for the hash drivers. He's gained seven <coughs> places oh, sorry about that. In I just died. Absolute insanity, and has the Yaris advantage of Zol, so it looks like it's gonna be a simple overtake for him. Towards turn one, DS wide open, Zolf defends the inside line, but down the inside goes Oli Boy into turn one. They go side by side through turn one. It's gonna be Oli Boy ahead. They still go side by side into turn turn two. This time Zolf on the inside, but Oli Boy has just too much speed and the inside line turns into outside line turns into the inside line. And now Oli Boy is the, the new race leader. As this very close between rings with Villeneuve and Joe Hamster. Joe Hamster with on the mediums, main to, well, keeping it close with the soft runners, have a very strong pace of his own, and now rings with it is just pulling away from Villeneuve. And yeah, the gap seems to be growing between Oli Boy and Darius. Six tenths of a second now. Uh, and now I think the fight to watch could be between Villeneuve and Joe Hamster. Joe Hamster has solid pace so far. Joe Definitely. Hamster is nearly a hundred percent ERS. Yeah, very good ERS saving there for the Mercedes driver, for the Aston Martin driver. Not so good for the Mercedes driver, as he has basically no ERS. He will be under massive pressure from behind. As there's a yellow flag That's and Spears like retires. It's a sa virtual a safety car. car. We have a virtual safety car on lap 5. I'm sorry, I didn't catch what happened to Svistak. He probably spun round and hit the barrier uh -huh. exiting turn 13. As we have... Yes, that is probably what he did. Is Isvod and the Der. Oof, that's unfortunate for him. But himself and Isvod are pitting on hearts. Ooh, Isvod is changing his front wing. Isvod's onto softs. Ooh. I think. Yes, he is. Interesting strategies there. As my AI is up to P11 because of this. Oh gosh. Are you gonna be battered because of this? You're gonna be hated, mate. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to quickly explain to the F5 chart. Ignore my <laughs> AI. Jeez. Well. So DRS enabled, we, we are racing once more. Oliboy and Darius are basically the same 
distance apart from each Ooh, other. Joe Hans we takes before. a bit too much curve and nearly goes into the rear of Villeneuve. Vries was looking down the inside of Joe Hamster. He didn't go for the move, and now Joe Hamster could be going for the move on the Mercedes driver as I'm lagging all over the place. I don't know if it's my internet connection or the hosts, but now the Mercedes will be under enormous threat from Joe Hamster behind. The mediums could be quicker now than the softs. At least Joe Hamster is being a life proof of that as he dives down the inside of the Mercedes. Mercedes not really fighting that one too much. And now it's could, he could be under pressure from Vries, but he keeps it clean. And yeah, now Joe Hamster is going to be flying. Next up, up ahead, 1.2 seconds is Ringsrud. And could he has have more pace? Oh <coughs> jeez, my throat is dying. <coughs> okay, I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> So, the gap between rings with ooh, there's a three second time penalty for the, for multiple warnings. Another choke job for him, as is for is fighting your, your, your AI. Uh, oh, absolute scenes out there. And I've disconnected once again. That is the third time. That deserves a round of applause. That, that round deserves a round of applause. Can we get some clapping in the chat, please? Please. That'll be, it's, very, it's very deserved. As Steve is very close behind Black Wolf, he's currently the guy who's closest. He should have retired now, which is great. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't. Flipping act. Joe Hamster has caught up to the back of rings where he has the DRS. Stevie also has a DRS, he's gonna go for the move on Black Wolf, that's gonna be an easy overtake for the Mercedes. Down to turn 1, it's, he overtook him even before turn 1. Who needs breaking zones when you have Stevie in the Mercedes? Absolutely beautiful move there for him. And now, very, three cars that are rather close behind, actually four. It's rings with Joe Hamster, Villeneuve and Vries. Two Aston Martins, one Mercedes and one Haas. The Haas seems to have quite a lot of pace. It is what overtakes the mate. <laughs> seriously, just change your freaking nickname. It's pathetic. I'm sorry, but no. J you try to be cool and oh, there's contact. There's crash between the two of them. There is massive shot between the two of them. Both are out. No, the is still oh. racing. This one is out. I had a perfect view of that. As the safety car is out. It is what yeah, retires. Uh, now I can join back to the lobby as I didn't want. Flipping excellent. Oh my oh my Alright, where's well, someone? Okay, will the leaders pit? They are so so they probably will, yes. TSM Oliboy is coming in. Uh Darius is coming in as well. So is Rings with the house will be double stacking. Joe Hamster even is coming in. Everybody's coming in. Yes, Reese, Stevie, Black Wolf, Jack, Suko probably as well. Yes, everybody's gonna come in, maybe except of Nick Hill, uh, and the, no, the has to fit because he has damage, uh, and double stack for the Haas is, is not really beneficial to them, but he exits in P3, his rings are very close between him and Joe Hamster. So basically the top is exactly as it was before. We did Black Wolf. Black Wolf went ahead of Reese. Aston Martin had to double stack as well. And Reese getting the shorter end of the stick this time. But I just cannot get over that crash between the and Istvot. You know, what it even way worse, doing? I disconnected, so I didn't see it. You can check it on the on the stream. Because yeah, I'm I had watching a perfect view of that. That was, that was just stream. stupid. That was just stupid. Yeah. Boy oh boy. Absolute scenes as I'm watching the replay as well right now. Aye 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 boys. Just unnecessary. Oh and I think that's gonna be completely the fault. Completely this fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was some horrendous driving for the Red Bull driver. And yep. yeah, not the best of starts for the McLarens here today. As 
We are still waiting for some cars to catch up to the back of the field. Gavi or Javi, <laughs> your AI, who's still ghosted. I, I, I think I think what I might do is I I might just take control. Take over of my and retire. Yeah, 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 you could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess that's fair. I can't take control. That's just beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I mean. I'm just going too. to have to say sorry to the people. That are behind pitting. My and Gavi is to, is also pitting. That's interesting as Joe Hamster and Villeneuve are overtaking each other, each other down the straight. I don't know what's going on. And there's contact between Joe H Oh there's massive contact! Blackwolf just pushed Joe Hamster through turn one and overtook Joe Hamster. That's gonna be some hefty push and Joe Hamster retired! Joe Hamster left the session! What? Ooh. What happened to Joe? I think he might have disconnected. And if he has disconnected, then that is very, very, very unfortunate. I can't believe this. He was being pushed for turn one by mm -hmm. Black Wolf. Joe is typing in a five chat. Let's see what the explanation going to be. Great explanation. Yeah. Wait, I actually didn't see that. Oh. Apparently we have desync. Well, that's crap. That's not good, as we're probably gonna have safety car in this lap. And, uh... Safety car is going through turn 10. So... What is the strategy here for TSM Oli Boy? TSM Oli Boy on hearts. Blackwood. <laughs> Zolf. On mediums. We have safety car in this lap. Oli Boy is retaking the control over the field. Well, what is the strategy for Oli Boy? Does he leave it late? Does he go? Does he go early? It's all up to him. Ash Driver is the one who's controlling the pace right now. He can start as soon as the car, the safety car, is pulling into the no. pits. He, he no, not gone. yet. Not, not on my screen. He's still going through turn 14, leaving it very late, exiting turn 14 now, still very late, and now he went, very solid restart there for him, already breaking the toe, we have a nice conga line behind Haas, but he will be under no pressure for now, as Villeneuve, I'm sorry, dives down the inside of Ringswood, Ringswood maintains his place, and now Villeneuve is losing the place to Ilaro Blackwolf, as we have Yellow Flag, there is spun around, and we have some position changes, your AI is dropping down like a stone in a pond, uh, as, it as it should, absolutely, but other than that, not many position changes. For the front. I'm having a fight with Nick Hill though. <laughs> How is this happening? The goat versus the goat. Thank yeah, you. not many positive changes. Very safe on this restart though. Drivers uh, are rather close to each other, but they kept it clean as Apple just overtakes Suko. And yeah, there's this guys basically from. Nick Hill gets a recent penalty. Oh, Nick, what are you doing, man? Uh, Stevie might go down the inside. No, he backs out of the move on the on the Vries. Black wall, very close behind uh, Ringsrud. Ringsrud goes slightly wide. Of course, both passes are on hard compound tires, so they will be under the, sort of under a disadvantage on the beginning of the sin, but they will have the advantage on the end, as now Eero Blackwolf goes down the inside of Ringswood, and that's an easy move, job oh. done for him. Oh, and I'm he goes a little bit wide, sorry to interrupt okay. you there, but he, they're still going, yeah. but no, it's a move done for Ringswood. Yeah, I can go on. On my screen, we are having a much interesting battle, as on my screen, Darius is now leading the race, but oh. that is... Complete. Oh, Jack! I'm just seeing Jack going round the outside and early of Stevie in turn three. But I'm watching the stream because my POV is not working. Maybe you could leave, and I'll send you an invite. No, I'm not. I'm not going to leave during oh, green okay, flag race. Okay. Okay. 
So basically, I'm on my own with you now. Uh, yes, you're basically on your own with cool. me being delayed. Let's go. Okay. Uh, five second time penalty for the. And oh, I'm oh, retired. what is he doing? He's retired. He has retired. It's a DNF on track. No safety cars though. That's good. That's oh come on, that, that's not good for me. Well, that's good because it would have been intentional crashing to cause a safety car as we have DRS enabled. And we have a huge DRS train. Basically from P3 to P5 and then from P6 to P9. Unless Stevie can make something, get, can do something about it. Jack very close behind Stevie. This could be an interesting fight. This Vreeze is also really close. So far the gaps aren't really allowing other drivers to overtake. Uh, Black Wolf is 1.8 seconds behind Zolf and the Oli Boy. Oli Boy half a second ahead of Darius. So this could get interesting. Of course, towards the end of the race it's gonna be Haas with the tire advantage. And Gavi Javi overtakes Nick Hill. How dare you? How dare you? I'll Disgusting you. behavior. And <laughs> yeah, we have this massive DR strain from P3 down to P9. Uh, starting with with Ringsrud, no, starting with Black Wolf, sorry. Uh, Ringsrud could finally maybe go for the move on the Red Bull. But he misses the apex, goes very wide, hits the outside curb, exiting turn 13. A nice camera, but we're not focusing really on the guy behind Ringsworth. We're focusing on the car ahead of Ringsworth. Oh, I just love these freaking cameras. As Zolf is, was looking down the inside of TSM Oli Boy, he's looking to punch his way in, back into the lead, which is very crucial for him. He should be absolutely flying compared to the Haas on these five old, five laps old medium tires. But he's not really pushing that much. Uh, Oli Boy has the ERS disadvantage as Darius goes rather wide, exiting turn seven, uh, four, as I got a notification. Uh, oh, Lee, I, I think I just experienced one of the best overtakes, which isn't actually on, it isn't in the race. Yeah. As. On my screen, Vries went round the outside at turn four on Ollie Boy and stuck the move. Ooh, sorry to interrupt you, but Ringsworth is dropping down, losing two spots to Villeneuve and Vries. Ringsworth down into P6. There's a virtual safety car. You can leave and join right now. So do it quickly and I'll send you an invite. I just closed the application because I thought that was easier. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Okay. You have the invite ready. Oh, thanks, mate. Uh, there are talks going on about a new lobby, perhaps. Because apparently the lobby is desynced. The lobby is definitely desynced, as you can tell by the two commentators seeing different things. <laughs> Ooh, Will never gets a drive through penalty. Oh, Villeneuve. Vries and Villeneuve have, have drive through penalties. Oh, that's unfortunate for them. People are leaving, I think? I don't know, I'm confused. Everybody left. Or maybe it, it's a problem with me. Uh, 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 we we might not be able to have any commentators looking at the race. On my screen, everybody left. <laughs> the race finished. I have no idea what's going on. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm uh, scary. I want mommy. Um, let me join Black Wolf real quick. Um, Black Wolf. Well, that one was interesting. Yeah, typical F5 scenes. Nothing new. I'm... having a look now. It, I, I'm joining the session via Black Wolf. 
fail to join the session. Okay, um... This is gonna be fun. Um... Rings Road. Well, that's rather interesting. We are having talks that this race could be voided because of all of this. I think I quality should definitely stand, but I think we should discount. I think wherever we was when all of this happened should be the final standings and given like half points huh interesting very confusing are you in the lobby? no, no I'm not <laughs> okay awesome, so we have no commentators in the lobby right now uh... aim I just popped up a showroom and a uh, model of a house because he was leading I think you have no commentators in the lobby so we can't commentate no more Ask if somebody could uh, send us an invite. Anyone still in the lobby? Jack Bailey will. <laughs> Jack Bailey says I will do it. I don't know what you mean by that, Jack. Yeah. But you do you. <laughs> well, Invite. That that'll definitely be helpful. Yeah. Well, I only hope that this won't happen t tomorrow in F3. Yes. Especially with all the practice I've been putting in with no traction control. <laughs> Damn. We're still waiting for this situation to pan out. Um, but it doesn't look optimistic for now. Yes, we might. This could potentially be where we leave it, but it all depends if either one of us can hop back in. Yeah. Jack doesn't really want to send us an invite, apparently. Come on, Jack. Don't be a Don't be an annoying person. There we <laughs> yes, go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> good save, good save. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Rocket um, League people. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing end to a stream. I guess we could leave it here, and if anything's gonna change, we can just start another one. Um, but in case we won't, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you all. And I want to thank you all for being here with us, watching this beautiful, completely w issueless stream. <laughs> and I hope I'll see you back very, very soon. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. My name is Lukas Szefaniak, also known as YB Szefaniak, and my mate in the commentary booth today was the one and only... Sparrow Malt B, and additional note from me, we are... I, I, I'm kind of sorry for having my AI participate in the race, and yes, thank you for watching, and goodbye.